Microsoft Main Stage Fantasy Music Festival Challenge. I know that we have had a fantastic time for the last three days. Um, hopefully you're all caught up and ready to join us for day number four of the Microsoft Main Stage um, Music Festival Challenge. Um, today we're going to be diving into creating our tickets and also we're going to be organising the, uh, the, the times that the acts are going to be going on. So we're going to be using Microsoft PowerPoint and we're going to be using Microsoft Excel as well. So without further ado, let's jump right into the big screen. I will see you there in two seconds. Okay, so here we are on our Microsoft Main Stage OneDrive. Again, remember we always start here no matter what we are doing and what we are building. Um, so today we are going to be creating gig tickets. Now I have done a little Bing image search. Remember you can go to filter and then filter by uh, Creative Commons, that means you can kind of see all the images that are on there and you can actually use any of these images as well that you're wanting to use. But I thought I would just show you kind of what concert and gig tickets look like. So we've got the name of the, the band or the event on there, we've got some of them have got things to scan, ticket numbers, uh, we've got the dates as well in there of the, uh, the, the ticket that you're uh, going to be using, there's the date in there. So we're going to today be creating some of our own uh, festival gig tickets. So here is an example of one that I have made earlier. Um, so I've taken our logo that we created yesterday and I've just put that onto a very simple ticket design. Now you're going to have to get creative with these. There aren't many uh, usable ones that I have found online so we're going to have to get creative. You'll see that up here um, I've taken, I've just added this little white box in there just to hide part of the ticket and then I can show you. When I go to full screen there, that is what my ticket looks like. Okay, so we've got the date at the bottom, we've got our barcodes there to scan, the ticket number and the name of the festival as well. So let's create our ticket. So the first thing we need to do is we need to have kind of the, the layout of the ticket. Now you could create this yourself if you really wanted to, but I thought it's gonna be much easier if I go into pictures. We've got our stock images. Okay, so we can type in ticket Okay, there's not many things in there. We've got our icons, a ticket. This is where I got my one from, from earlier. There's that one, is the one that we used. You can obviously use any different one that you fancy. There's none in stickers, none in illustrations, I don't believe. A ticket, nope. Um, so you're gonna have to start to get creative, okay? So you can use the icons ticket. That one worked quite well for me. Or um, you can go into pictures and Bing pictures and within there, uh, there are some in here, um, so like there's a ticket there and uh, one thing you could do would be to uh, put that ticket in and to, um, to to hide the wording that is on there, okay? So just putting a box, an orange box around it. Um, so you can get creative with these. There are some, I did see there's one in there that's empty for you to write on. Um, so you can get creative with them. There are some in here that you can use, but um, I think I'm going to go with the, oops, come on. There we go, the stock images uh, icon ticket, okay? Um, I'll go for the, the thinner one this time. Uh, let's go for this one here, okay? Insert, okay, and there is my ticket outline. So, first thing we need to do is we need to get the size of it. Now ignore the back part, um, because we're, we're obviously not wanting that in there. I'm just gonna make my screen a little bit smaller so I can adjust the size of my ticket a little better. And let's just make sure it's kind of in the middle as much as I can, okay? Then we can zoom back in. Um, get the right size, Let's make it a wee bit bigger, and a wee bit bigger again. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good there. 
Okay, so there is my ticket. Now, um, unfortunately, I can't crop it because the, the type of image we've used is an icon, so we can't crop it. But that's okay, because we've gotten rid of this top bit up here. So the next thing we want to do is we want to add in a, a shape, okay? Um, so we're gonna add in just this rectangle here, and I'm gonna move this rectangle, and I'm gonna use it to cover up these black lines here, okay? So we're just gonna do that. There we go, now we can go to um, home, oh, nope, what am I looking at, shape. Yes, there is shape outline, we're wanting that to be no outline, and we want the shape color to be white, okay? So now we can't tell there's any lines in there. Now I did keep these white lines in there for the one that I created there, um, but you don't have to, it's up to you um, what you do. So again, you can put white box over them if you wanted. Now we need to put in our logo. So I put my logo over here. Um, so what you can do is take your logo from yesterday and you can insert that. So if I go file, um, insert pictures from this device. So there is my main stage music festival, Microsoft main stage festival uh, image, but look, it's got white around the back of it. It's, it's not great, it covers up a lot of the space. So we've got a workaround. Now if you're using the PowerPoint, um, the, the desktop version, you can get rid of the backgrounds from within there. It's great, it's really easy, really simple to use, but not everyone does, so I've got some alternatives for you. So the first one is you can use Canva to uh, get rid of the background. So if you have a Canva account, you can log into Canva um, and you can actually use that to get rid of the backgrounds. Or you can go to this simple uh, website called remove.bg and from there up there, oh, sorry, from there you upload your image and then you just hit download. And there it downloads the image for you. It gets rid of the background. So when I go insert uh, pictures from this device, so when I add that image in there, look, it doesn't, it's not got a background on it. So it, it kind of, it gets rid of the background. Um, it gets rid of the white space around the outside of it, uh, the image, so you can kind of place it a little bit better. It's not gonna take up much room. Now I do recommend right clicking and uh, cropping the image. So you can get rid of um, all the kind of space around the outside. So I'm just going to do that now. Um, it just allows you to place it a little bit better. Uh, there we go. And the top looks fine. Okay, so here we go. Here is our logo image. We'll make it as big as we can. Um, look, make it look as pretty cool. There we go. Great. Love it. Okay, so there's the logo for the, uh, the, the session. Now, we need to find out what the font was that we used here. You can use a different one, but I prefer to use the same font. So we're gonna go uh, back to the er original logo document. And all I'm gonna do, very sneakily, is I'm gonna go and click on the logo that we created. I'm just gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it in here, okay? So I can, you can paste from one document into the other. And then I'm gonna highlight all of that text. I'm gonna make it black and I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller as well. Then we're gonna turn it around on its side, so 270 degrees, so there we go. Um, make it a bit smaller the box and let's put it over here, okay? Now we can go Control A, Delete, and let's add in our uh, date. So Saturday, new line, 11th June, okay? There is our date for the ticket now. Fantastic, okay, so that's in. We can place it, make it look quite nice. Next thing we need is the ticket number. So again, I can copy this text, copy paste, okay, and we can paste that in over here, and we're wanting to call it ticket, then new line, hashtag for number, so number, and, uh, oops, Hashtag, uh, so it'd be ticket number 0002, okay? Uh, we know that that one's 0001, so let's put ticket number two in here, and we can just kind of position it how we like the look of it. Brilliant. And next, we are gonna put in our barcode. Now the barcodes are really easy to do. The only thing is when you're doing it, um, sometimes they can't go too, they can't go as small as you'd like it, but here's a wee uh, kind of hack for you. Uh, so we can go table, and we're going to insert, insert a table. How many did I have in the last one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we know seven works. And now you're going to alternate between black and white. Okay, so up here in cell shading, so make that one black, make that one black, make that one black, and make that one black. Okay, and then we're going to make these ones white. So we'll just make this one white here. Make it white, 
and make it white. Okay, brilliant. Now let's adjust our table make it look a bit more like a barcode, as small as we can. Um, now if we go Control A and decrease the size of the font that's in there as well, um, I think six is the smallest you can get. Brilliant, so there's our barcode and we'll put it in there. Now barcodes aren't all just black and white, some are bigger than the others, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and I'm going to um, increase some of these bar sizes, okay? Um, just so that it looks a little bit more like a barcode. Okay, brilliant. So now when I zoom back out, we'll go to 100. Um, there we go. There is my barcode. It looks a little bit more like a barcode. Now I could add in more cells if I want to, so we can insert um, a row below. That's fine, maybe another row below. Change the uh, Fill, table, cell shading, we'll make that one white and we'll make it a bit thinner. There we go. Great, so there is our barcode for people to scan and there is our ticket. Fantastic, so if you were wanting to export that, then you can do that from File, Save As, and you can save it as whatever you want to save it as, as an image, or maybe you want to save it as a PDF and send it out to someone. Okay, um, but yeah, there we have our ticket for our Microsoft Mainstage Festival. So now that we've got our tickets, let's have a quick look at the, uh, the, the timings for the shows. So let's close these down. And we are now going to create um, a, 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 a list of the different events that are happening. So we're going to use Excel for that. And we're just going to go new and Excel workbook. Now I've already done it up here. Okay, so we need to name our document. So that's going to be uh, show times. Oops. Again. What's going on there? Saving, that's why. Show times. Okay, Hit enter to, to save, and there we go. Right. So to get all of our um, our bands, all I did was I copied and pasted it over from the OneNote that you created the other day. So Festival Planner into OneNote, and there's all the bands in there. So I just copied and pasted them in to the Excel document. From there, I started thinking about my timings. So I want my uh, final gig to finish at 10.45, okay? And it's gonna start at 10 p.m. And I want my day to start at 2.30, okay? So there we go, Halcyon planners start at, let's put a wee, oh, that's fine. That's how they spelt their band name, it's fine. <laughs> um, planers, is that then? I think that'll be planers. Um, so they start at half past two, then they're only doing a 20 minute set, but then they've got a 15 minute change over to the next band, okay? So I needed to have a 35 minute between start and the next band. So 35 minutes, 35 minutes, 35 minutes. Then we've got a 30 minute um, gig set and 15 minute changeover. Every band needs 15 minutes to change over. Um, and they've got 30 minutes and then the, the kind of, the main bands are um, on for 45 minutes less. Yeah, we, we, the contract says 45, so I probably shouldn't change that. Um, but that is the, our, our times for the day. So um, each of these bands, so like the Deej will be on at 3.40 p.m. DJ Angelo will be on at 5.45 p.m. Now, this 15 minute changeover is for the bands to get sorted and change over, but it also allows for people to go to the, the, the food stalls, to go and go to the toilet to do other things as well. So it's important that you put that in. Um, so that is how you can use Excel to kind of plan out your day and plan out all your timings. So today we have created our ticket and we have also uh, planned out our day using Microsoft Excel. Okay, so that is what you're going to be doing today. I will see you in just two seconds back on the zoomed in screen. So there we go, fantastic work everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today we learned how we could use uh, Microsoft PowerPoint to create a, a ticket um, and how we could edit those images and uh, kind of get creative and use in our logo for the ticket, um, create a barcode and uh, yeah, just get really creative using uh, the, the tools on Microsoft PowerPoint. We also uh, used the Microsoft Excel workbooks to come up with a time plan for all of our events. Um, so hopefully that is all nice and easy for you to follow. There's lots of different bits for you to do today, um, but it's all a bit of fun for you and your team. So good luck. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you've enjoyed today's session. We are back again tomorrow for our final event in the um, Microsoft Main Stage Festival program, planner program.
Um, so thank you so much for joining us. My name is Niall. I've had a great time today. I hope that you have too. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for our final event. I'll see you there. Cheers. Bye. Thank you.